Hello everyone, I'm Bruce Marjorie Banks. I'm the program leader for the Master of Arts, Youth and Childhood Studies. I'm here with my colleague, Gail Blackburn, who is the pathway leader on the MA program for the Early Childhood Graduate Practitioner Competencies. Gail, can you please tell me about what are the Early Childhood Graduate Practitioner competencies? Uh, yes, well, basically the, the competencies are a set of standards uh, which um, allow you to develop your skills in earlier settings. Um, and they the, the standards are, for example, showing how you can meet the needs of children. You show how you can work in partnership with um, families, parents, uh, team members, you develop your safeguarding skills, you show how you can plan activities for children, you show how you can observe children and support them, you show how to enable inclusive practice in your setting, so they, they are they are competencies to show that you can do all of these things. There are nine different competencies and you work in settings from zero to eight. So zero to eight years you need experience with and you develop those skills across all of the competencies. So they're showing that you're capable of transferring your academic skills and putting them into practice in, in a range of settings with regards to supporting early years. What kind of person would be interested in undertaking these competencies? Yeah, the, the type of person who may want to undertake these competencies are people who have, have a particular interest in the early years. So you might be working in the early years already, you, you, you might be currently volunteering in an early year setting, or it might be an area that you want to develop your skills in. So it's someone who really wants to work with children, but really from birth to age, in the, in the earlier um, ages for children. So, so somebody, ideally somebody who is currently already practicing um, in, in an early year setting, in a childhood setting. So someone who wants to go into that type of employment or somebody who wants to possibly develop the, their skills in these areas and also think about progression with regards to their employment routes. Upon achieving the competencies, can you expand on what career progression opportunities might there be? Absolutely, yeah. The, so if, if you do the competencies, obviously your experience is going to be from birth to age. So any employment opportunities, any career progression that, that you may want, obviously with developing your skills up to up to level six, which the competencies enable you to do, you can apply for managerial posts in um, childcare settings and earlier settings. You might want to become uh, work going to uh, support work with families because you're developing your skills um, when you're working with the when you're developing the competencies, you're developing your skills of working with families and children, so you can transfer those skills to family support. Um, any any type of support services that are in place working with families and children from those age ranges so that, that there's a myriad of opportunities that, that that you can use the competencies for but it is it is going to be um, within those age ranges of birth to eight. What kind of qualifications and experience does a candidate need? Ideally you should be working um, in an early year setting or in a childcare setting at the moment. So you might be employed in a childcare setting. Also, you should have your maths and English up to um, equivalent of GCSE, grade C or um, a grade four now, four or above. So that, that's a level two. There are equivalencies, so don't panic if you haven't got your GCSEs. Um, up to that level, uh, there are equivalents that that you can have, and, and I will check those if you are interested in the competencies uh, program. So yes, ideally, working in a childcare setting and with your maths and English level two. Can you explain um, how students are supported in placement and how they achieve the competencies? Absolutely, yeah. So what, what you do across your master's programme is whilst you're in your settings, whilst you're in your placement, you develop a portfolio of evidence to show how you've met 
those different competencies, which, like I mentioned previously, are like standards for you to work towards. So you develop your portfolio of knowledge, and this could be observations of children. You might have photographs of working with children uh, on activities. Obviously, you wouldn't use children's faces in those photographs. You might take photographs of um, different areas in the setting that, that you've amended to suit the needs of the children. You might include um, documents of uh, team meetings you've been to um, and any, any contributions you've made to those team meetings. <clears throat> you, will, you possibly might show risk assessments that you've carried out. You might show activity plans that you've put in there, observations of the children. So really, if, you, if you're in a setting already, you, you'll begin to see that it's very, very easy to generate your evidence. You basically just log everything that you do. And a big part of the competencies and the, and the evidence that you generate for the competencies is to show how you are a reflective practitioner. So a lot of that would be based within your portfolio of evidence that, that you complete. Also, whilst you're in your setting, you must have a mentor. You, you must be allocated a mentor, even if you work in that particular setting. There must be somebody there who can support you in developing your competencies and developing your portfolio of evidence, because they're going to be your main source of support whilst you are developing your competencies. You will be observed in your setting as well by myself or one of my colleagues who will come into your setting and observe you and your mentor also needs to carry out regular observations of you as well, uh, participating in activities and planning activities with the children. Once you've developed your competencies portfolio and at the end of your studies, you also take part in a viva, a now a long viva, which is basically just, it's like a professional discussion where you talk about the competencies, how you've developed them, the evidence that you've put into your competency portfolio, how you've developed as a practitioner, how you've included reflection on a daily basis as a practitioner, and also how you feel the competencies have allowed you to develop as a professional in an early year setting. So you would be the panel would include myself and two other colleagues um, who you would chat to. It, it, don't be don't 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 feel daunted by that. It, it is just a general chat where you get the opportunity really to shine and talk about all of the hard work that you've put into developing your competency portfolio. If, for example, a candidate is working in a setting that is from naught to five, how will they get experience from six to eight? Yeah. Uh, so obviously you would need to get into a setting, a school setting. Um, and if you have no contacts with uh, any, any local schools, we do have a placement officer um, who, and we can work closely with you to arrange a suitable placement for yourself to get your other age range. So don't worry about that. Um, we, we, we do have placement support there to arrange any alternative placements that you might need. Also, is there any modules that are specific to the competencies. Your negotiated study can be linked to your competencies um, and also you can link all of your, um, your, your your leadership modules can be linked to competencies. You will see a thread running through all of your competencies and also obviously your, your dissertation that you choose to do, you can base that on your competencies as well. So there will be, if you do choose the competency route, you'll be in the, the main, your main lecture and then you would come out with me for your um, for your competency seminars. So um, it, it's embedded throughout all of your masters. Thank you.